Your Excellency, the Vice President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Your Excellency, the House Governor and other governors that are here, I thank each and every one of you here present today. I want to tell all of us that I will talk from a practical perspective because I have benefited immensely from this state in terms of solid minerals. I lived here for almost five years and I worked in various mines. I worked from Jakura mines all the way to Itakwe, all the way to even Ajaokuta. I will speak and give my goodwill message briefly. I want to first of all thank the governor for bringing this maiden edition to fruition. It's a very beautiful initiative, a very young, very dynamic governor, and I'm really, really endeared towards him because of his youthful energy. Going forward, what is our take home? We usually have a lot of summits like this, but the truth be told in this country, there is a problem. There is a major problem in this, our great nation. We cannot continue like this. From the solid minerals perspective, Kogi State can actually contribute not only to Nigeria, but the entire black race in terms of solid minerals exploration. And let us be very practical. Look at what engineer Makoju said. 13.5 million tons from Dangote. It's not only Dangote that will solve the problem of our country. We need to focus more on small and medium scale enterprises. If we're talking of one industry, one company to be doing 13.5 million tons, why can't we break it down? A typical upcoming youth that will be doing 1,000 tons of cement per annum we will generate 1.3 million youths that will be entrepreneurs. And that should be the focus. We usually make this mistake again in this country. We have a lot of youths that are very, very versatile in terms of putting together and coupling a lot of ma ma manufacturing equipment, locally made. But we will focus on how to discourage them. We will focus on how to try and pull them down. Why can't we implore government to set up a unit, a research and development unit? We have the likes of Firo there. We, like the, we have the likes of Income. Let them improve on those illegal people doing refinery. Let them tap into what they are doing. Let them tap into so many youths in Kogi that I still know, that I still have practical and direct one-on-one -on -one relationship with because they can set up a small cement plant, they can set up a small pulverizing plant to actually support our industries. We should encourage them because they are youth. We should encourage them. Most of them are not even very lettered, but they know things they are doing upstairs. They are in this state. We have a lot and lot of youths like that. How can we help them? How can our government encourage such people? by going into bare practical means of livelihood. How can we lift them up? It's very important. The future of this country is not, lies, it's not going to lie on only Dangote industries and so, so many big industries. We need our youths to be encouraged to go into solid minerals. And on this note, I want to actually implore the governor of the state for such a beautiful initiative God will continue to bless you, and God will continue to bless Kogi State. I'm a beneficiary of solid mineral exploration in this state. God bless you, and thank you for this organization. Please, let's keep the applause going for His Imperial Majesty, Oba Adeyayi. Enito Ogumusi or your Jaja the second, the only of Hifen.
Thank you very much for that very powerful address.